My game just broke 70 million plays. Yo, what's up guys? Jaduth here. Bring guys another video. Today, we're gonna talk about my 100 level default death run. I'm sure you guys have all heard of it. It's one of my most successful Fortnite creative maps. And honestly, like it's just a huge map in Fortnite creative. I created the game mode back in early 2019. And over the years, it's done very well. It's had multiple features and LTM. I mean, it was used for the World Cup trials. Just overall, like a huge, awesome map. And another accomplishment just happened this week. Uh, it broke 70 million plays. So that's just absolutely insane, dude. I wanted to make this quick video to say thank you guys all for playing my map. I seriously appreciate everyone that plays it. You know, I, I didn't expect it to do this well. And I think any map maker would be super hyped uh, like me. I also want to make this video to inspire some map makers out there. Give you guys some motivation because I just made this map. I didn't know it was going to blow up. And I feel like you guys can do the exact same as me. I will say it's a lot harder for maps to be successful nowadays. But, you know, uh, you just keep pushing. I feel like anything's possible. I feel like you guys can do it. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about the map today because I feel like, uh, you know, it's done so well and I just feel like it needs to be kind of told, like, the story about it. So, first things first, uh, Scissors makes a death run. It was too hard, so I made the default death run. I pretty much started, like, that whole default death run trend. If you guys ever play a map with default death run in the name, just know I kind of created that. You know, I wanted to make a death run that was super easy. I wanted to make something that anyone could enjoy because Scissors death run are a little bit too hard especially for me i was a complete bot you know so i created the default death run that's why i decided to name it it was pretty much an easy death run and that trend just absolutely blew up on youtube in 2019 i mean you still see maps nowadays called default death runs so it's really cool to see like my little trend stick around for so long it's really awesome and after i created this whole default death run trend a lot of people started making their own default death runs and that's where i kind of wanted to up it a little bit okay that's when i created the 100 level default death run when this map first came out it was so hyped on my channel man i remember posting like progress videos every single time i was working on the map and every video would just blow up we had all these huge streamers youtubers play and everything it was just so awesome now you guys probably already know this you know if you guys watch my channel but i'm pretty sure from that death run alone it kind of caught epic's attention and then epic reached out to me they wanted to feature it in the game so that was my first ever feature you know this also led to epic you know inviting me out to world cup to work on the maps there uh, just other opportunities of epic so dude this death run has done so much for me and it still continues to do a lot for me today uh, we recently just had an ltm this year by far like the biggest accomplishment ever it's actually had two ltms if uh, by the way okay if i get three ltms on this map i i swear to god i'm gonna get a tattoo somewhere on my body that's like default death run related i might be the first person to put a tattoo on my body that's fortnite creative related i'm not even sure man but yeah pretty much uh 2019 after i made that map you know a lot of people started playing it and you know it just started ranking up views plays everything now normally when a map comes out it usually does have a huge spike at the start of it but then they kind of like die out over time well here's the thing the 100 level default death run still gets plays this year so what i think makes my map very unique and like why people come back to it is because it's very easy for new players it being an easy death run it makes it really easy for someone that's completely new to the creative mode you know hop in and actually have fun on it you know death runs are usually supposed to be like super difficult but having like an easy death run is super fun. I feel like a lot of people do enjoy them. The other thing is obviously like the nostalgia. I feel like if you guys ever hop in the map, it just totally like brings a smile on my face. It makes me think of like old Fortnite. I don't know. That might just be me, but nostalgia is pretty huge, I think. I kind of want to give some advice for some map makers out there. If you guys making maps, um, you know, a huge thing you guys got to keep in mind is the players. A lot of people make maps and, you know, a lot of people might think of like the money or like the design of everything. But the number one thing comes down to is gameplay and like the experience for the player if you guys are making like a super complex you know beautiful map and um, it's just very confusing like people don't know how to play it it's not gonna do very good I see a lot of people complain about this there could be like a I don't know like an open island for like some thrown down prefabs and like a gunfight whatever and I'll do better than like most maps out there the thing is you got to remember like Fortnite's uh, player base it's kind of like younger people so you just got to keep that in mind when you guys are making maps a lot of these things that us adults might not find confusing could be very confusing to like new people and this whole idea really came to mind when I was talking to epic when we were talking talking about like my LTM we were looking over my map and like reviewing it 
and they shared some uh, things about it, and it kind of like opened my eyes to like you know just game design and making it better. Kind of think of like an example for you guys, but uh, you know a lot of kids like they don't like to read billboards. So if there's any way you can like show them how to beat the map without actually writing it down, that's like the best way you can make a map. If the objective is like super clear, that's probably like hands down like the most important thing. I mean, at the end of the day, kids just hop in there. They just want to have fun. They just want to uh, hang out with their friends, play a map and you know just escape from the world so yeah hopefully that little piece of advice helps you guys with like your next project or anything but yeah guys that's pretty much it i just want to talk about this map and um you know i'm just super excited that it reached 70 million plays like that's absolutely insane guys uh, i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and also just thank you guys for sticking around on my youtube channel i'm gonna start branching out and doing some more like talk videos just like this one i feel like i want to start making my content a little bit different and start inspiring some people out there especially like map makers or people that want to be youtubers i started thinking that i live like this really unique lifestyle where i get to do like two things that i really enjoy so i kind of just like want to share you know how that goes for me and you know just like let you guys know like how it is i feel like there's a lot of people of dreams out there to like be in the position i am so i just want to share as much as i can and you know just kind of inspire you guys i think that's what i really want to do also if you guys didn't know i took a little break on youtube i'm a little bit back i don't want to say i'm officially back but uh i do want to start posting a little bit here and there so i do appreciate you guys sticking around with me i got a lot of big plans i got a lot of big projects i'm working on gotta keep it a little bit secret but um you know huge stuff in the works guys anyways it's been jd theater thank you guys so much for watching Watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.